Hey, hey everybody, I am Zach with Gen X Glow in Miami with Caio and Albert, legends of the trans community. How you guys doing? Uh, really good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Yeah, we had a, uh, last night a really great album party uh, and woke up, had a shower and now is sitting in the sun. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, great weather, great temperature. Uh, you guys just said, oh yeah. Uh, you guys just, uh, like you guys just mentioned, you had your album release party last night. It was absolutely crazy. You can probably hear we were there shooting, jamming out with you guys. Uh, I kind of lost my voice singing about every track I could. Uh, it was so much fun. Uh, what did you guys feel about the party? Was it everything kind of you guys had hoped it would be? We were really happy about last night because, you know, there's so many parties here in Miami, so a lot of competitions, so we didn't know what to expect, but it was full, it was packed, and the crowd was just amazing. They, they felt every track, and we saw so many hands, and yeah, so we really loved it. So. Yeah, many fans uh, were there, uh, not only here from Miami, from all uh, North America, and it was, yeah, it was a really great party. Uh, yeah, uh, Miami, I mean, this is Miami Music Week Winter Music Conference. For people who've never been here and for people who don't get a chance to come out here, uh, what is special about this week, Miami Music Week? What, what makes this week so special? Honestly, I don't really know what is special, but I think it's like a gathering of all, all people from, from all over the U.S. coming uh, to Miami to, to enjoy uh, clubs and DJs. So it's like everyone's coming together. So and then you can meet everyone if you want. So, so there's a lot of potential with uh, people going to parties. So, and it's a nice weather because at home it's now uh, minus degrees and snow. So it's nice to be a little better here. A little better, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think everybody in the dance industry is here in this week and there's a lot of party, a lot of drinking and yeah, a full week of party. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, so the album release party, for those of you who have been living under a rock and do not know, the album is Nights Awake right here. Uh, what does Nights Awake mean? What, why did you guys title the album that? Um, we like the title because we spend a lot of time uh, at night, you know, for example, when we're DJing, we're DJing at night. Also, we, uh, I kind of like to produce at night because then no one is disturbing you. So then we we had a couple of titles and we just thought uh, this, one, uh, this one fits best, so that's why we choose it. Okay, uh, so um, obviously you've had a, a ton of big success off of a couple of the singles. Uh, another time, one of them. Um, is there any tracks on here that maybe haven't gotten that level of exposure that really uh, means a lot to you? Uh, there's a collab with Paul Van Dyke on the album. And uh, Paul Van Dyke was the first big DJ in 2001 who supported us. Um, he, uh, back in the days, he had a very famous radio show on FM in, in Germany. And he uh, supported us a lot and uh, our label Euphonic as well and uh, later uh, when we get the chance got the chance to do a collab with Paul we played on his uh, birthday party 40s birthday party and there were a little decision to do the the, the collaboration and yeah this this is uh, yeah a special track and um, then a few other collaboration and I mean the, the album features 15 tracks uh, people don't, don't know that we did in total 40 tracks. Uh, so um, so after the album, a few of these tracks which uh, were not on the album will get released uh, as singles. And now, right now, when we are back uh, in Germany, we finish uh, the club mix of a collaboration with Stonefest and Terminal. The original track uh, is on the album and the club mix of We Own the Night comes out on Euphonic end of April, early May. Oh, I'm sure we are all uh, looking forward to that. Stoneface and Terminal, Caio and Albert, uh, that is a dangerous duo for the trans world. So uh, we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, so after 17 years of production and being icons of the trans community for about a decade now, uh, how do you guys keep coming? This is your third artist album for people who don't know. Uh, how do you guys keep getting inspiration and keep coming up with these amazing tracks and keep that you know, Caio and Albert's sound that everybody has come to know and love. I mean, we are still hungry for, 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 for making music. We still get a lot of inspiration when you go, uh, when you hear something on the radio or something in a club and and we still have a, a lot of ideas we uh, we want to uh, realize. So I, I'm not afraid that we're running out of ideas. So.
And over the years, you got so much experience. You are still learning, but there's so much experience that you can now um, target uh, your future releases, production better as maybe uh, 15 years ago when we just left school and uh, started this as a little, yeah, band project because we originally started as a band. All the male vocals. Uh, come from Steven, uh, Mr. Albert is the man who's singing all the male vocals and um, back in the days it was just fun for us. Uh, so when we, uh, we, we are now professional musicians since 11 and a half years and when, uh, when we got the chance with, uh, with uh, our first chart single in Germany with Warner Music, we, we have more experience now, we are more focused even if we are touring more as 10 years ago. So it's uh, another level of profession. professionalism, would you say this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so we, uh, again, 17 years, we're hoping for 17 more. Uh, so again, third, uh, third, we'll still be there raging with you. We'll, we'll have walkers and we'll just go. Uh, so again, one more time, uh, third album right here. So uh, big launch, kind of a, uh, I wouldn't say weight off your shoulders, but but where do you see you guys going from here? So you launched the third album. What's next for Kyle and Albert? Do you see yourself still coming out with you know albums in, in five ten years? Of course, we we, we still uh, working on. We'll start to work on, on new album soon. But also we're looking forward to collaborate with some some other artists so to 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 expand a little bit our our bandwidth. So yeah, as I told you before, we had. Uh more tracks done for for the album as uh, on the final album uh, ended and uh, now there are a few very strong tracks we think about uh, to do uh, as our next single and of course um, uh, we will do a new album somewhere next year 2014 or 15 or yeah. depends on uh, you know we we, uh, we did the album uh, and uh, over one and a half years, I would say, and there were not a plan to release the album for Christmas 2012. We just wanted to make it good, to have a very good product, and yeah, it's not. Uh, I think it's not the quantity; it's more the quality we are looking for uh, uh, with our productions. Well, uh, uh, your fans have definitely come to expect, you know, that that Caio and Albert quality. Um, we thank you for it. Uh, so amazing you guys uh it's been an honor talking with you guys uh thank you for coming to miami thank you for playing around the world uh, we hope you keep going uh we just we know we're gonna stick with you uh so again one more time third time uh kyle and albert night's awake go get it it's uh it's on your website it's on beatport it's it's everywhere and we just extended our u.s uh, visa and uh, we have many u.s shows planned for um the next couple of months, uh, LA, um, San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, uh, Philly, New York, uh, with Washington DC, Portland, and yeah. so on and so on. So check out our gigs, uh, gig dates at kyanalbert.com or Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And see you out there. All right, thank you guys, GXG, peace. <laughs>